Good afternoon. Uh, I am so thrilled to be joined with Senator Tim Scott, uh, Senator Chris Coons, and my good friend in the House, Representative Emanuel Cleaver. We have come together today to call our nation to prayer in April. Uh, some of the other members will discuss more in detail. I would like to start with a prayer this morning or this afternoon. So if you'll join me, we'll go before our God right now. Uh, Father God, we come to you in prayer, praying for our nation through this difficult season. There are times and places where we come to the end of our own human intellect, our own even medical community, through all the good work that we're seeing, we reach a point, Lord, where we are reaching out to you in faith, asking you that you would indeed heal our land, both physically and spiritually. We have great confidence in you that throughout our country's history, even in moments where we didn't get it right, even moments that were, that were perilous, Lord, we can trust in you and we can count on you to be able to come through in a mighty way. We are claiming that even now, to joining my brothers here this afternoon in prayer. We are seeking your face, calling on you to heal our land, and we trust that you will. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Mark, for that uh, wonderful prayer. As uh, many of us, at least all of us on the call, re recognize that Congressman Mark Walker is also a, an ordained pastor. So is uh, Congressman Cleaver. So the two pastors are praying during this call, the two of us who are not will not be praying. Uh, I, I am excited to have asked uh, pastors around this country to join us in this time of praying to heal our land, hashtag heal our land. Uh, that came from Bishop T.D. Jakes when I called and asked him to uh, please pray for this nation and help lead this nation in prayer. Uh, he said the hashtag heal our land. So I love that. Uh, my thought is simple, a simple thought. Uh, we need the help of, of, of our divine God. Uh, we need, number one, uh, healing for those who are infected. And number two, so many of us are affected, negatively affected by COVID-19. Uh, unemployed, uh, working fewer hours, sick loved ones, a sense of fear because of the uncertain. Uh, I'm asking for our nation to come to a place of prayer. And we ask everyone, uh, whether you are a Christian or not, frankly, to, to join us in prayer. As a Christian, I certainly am asking my, my friends to pray, but I hope that our, our Jewish friends and our Muslim friends are out there praying as well. Um, thank you, Senator Scott, uh, for asking me to join you in this effort. And uh, to my friends and brothers uh, from the House of Representatives, um, this is um, a challenging, a demanding, a unique time in modern American history where we've got uh, both a global health pandemic that's now tearing through our states and our communities and the economic consequences of it. Uh, and all four of us come from different backgrounds, different states, uh, different specific traditions, uh, but we have a common sense of calling to try and uh, help support people in our states and in our country uh, who are struggling, both our first responders and those on the front lines of medical response, uh, those who, as Tim says, uh, are struggling either because they're infected or have been affected, those who have lost loved ones or who are anxious about uh, what's gonna happen here in the days and weeks ahead. Uh, and then all of us have heard from so many newly unemployed or whose businesses are facing imminent disaster. Uh, it is encouraging to me uh, that in our work lives in Washington, we were able to come together and uh, to pass quickly something that was a big resource for our nation. Uh, but all four of us uh, are of one mind in saying that um, that's just a drop in the ocean compared to the spiritual resources um, that our eternal God offers uh, to all of our communities and our families. And so uh, I'm, I'm honored to have a chance to join with you uh, and in the weeks ahead to join with uh, sort of guest clergy um, from a variety of different communities and traditions uh, who will help us take a few moments every day at noon uh, and humble ourselves um, and seek guidance and strength and direction through prayer. I'm grateful for the chance to be on this journey with you uh, and hopeful that this will um, be an important moment in healing our land. This week is in uh, most of major faith traditions, the Abrahamic faiths, uh, an absolutely critical week. It's Holy Week in the Christian tradition. A Passover begins tomorrow for the Jewish community. Uh, I just wanted to say that I think this is incredibly timely and important for us to do. Uh, and I look forward to including the whole range of faith expressions uh, from our home states and networks and communities 
and bending our will together uh, to the service of our Lord and our states and our country. Um, I was delighted to receive the phone call from Mark to uh, ask my participation. I am delighted in, uh, in being a part of a, a, a faith group. Um, and I do believe that um, maybe our country uh, needs to get on its uh, knees before we can get on our feet. And so uh, this is a good time for us to begin to, to do that. And I would close us out now uh, with a prayer. Heavenly God, we give you thanks and praise, even in the midst of all of the turbulence that we experience uh, each day in our lives over the uh, COVID-19 that is wreaking havoc all across this land and around the world. Uh, bless those, oh God, who are struggling to, to win over COVID-19. Uh, we ask a special blessing for the souls and spirits of those who have already succumbed uh, to COVID-19's uh, lethal uh, attempt to uh, do damage to our nation, our soul, our world. And so, oh God, uh, we, we lift uh, you up in the midst of all of this. And now unto him who is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think, yeah. according to the power that worketh in us, now be the glory. In his name, amen. I bless you, my friends. Good to be with you, brother. Thanks. Blessings. Take care. God bless. Have a good one.